You know, I grew up, I was born Cook County Hospital in Chicago, grew up on the south side, Ida B. Wells Projects. You know, my mother was a, a, a recipient of, of public aid. You know, we've been there in Section 8, the whole thing. And, you know, I ran the streets and did what I did, um, became incarcerated. And, uh, you know, it's, it's possible if you change your, 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 your mind state, your mentality, but it all starts within you. You know, you can't look externally to change what's going on inside of you. And it all starts in the mind and the heart. Once I do graduate, I see myself becoming wealthy and, and buying property, you know, in the quote hood, the ghetto or whatever. Uh, for the simple fact, I want to see it revitalized and, and come back. I think all this money that we spend on the war, we need to, we need to redirect those funds and start building up these schools, give these teachers raises, um, develop some after school programs for the kids so that they're not out there committing crimes, uh, using and, and, and selling drugs and, and breaking in people's houses and whatnot. Also, we need, I, I would like to see him um, do something for the elders, the, the, the people who are retired and disabled. My mom is, is disabled. She has heart disease, uh, congenital heart disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and diabetes. She's seen I don't know how many doctors, and uh, every time they keep shooting her down with a disability. So that forced her to work, you know, to have to continue to go back to work in order to support herself. Meanwhile, she's sick, she's terminally ill. You follow what I'm saying? So it was, it was a struggle for that. And um, third, definitely a big issue for me, is the, uh, you need to revamp the justice system. You got too many people who are falling victim to these, these mandatory minimums, and you got crazy long sentences. The time that they're giving out is, is ridiculous. And then you look at the school delivery situation, I mean, Come on, man, he was dead to rights, guilty as charged. But because of who's in office, he ended up getting off the hook. He's walking. It's time for a change. America is ready. And God willing, Obama gets in there and, and does what's right for the people.